I've spotted quite a few butterflies in my garden recently. I've always been fascinated by these amazing insects. The way they metamorphosize from egg to caterpillar and chrysalis before emerging as fluttering beauties captured my imagination at an early age. With one of my favorite books in mind, we all know that little caterpillars are very hungry creatures, but they're more discerning than you might think, with individual species being very particular about what leaves they want to munch on. Butterflies, on the other hand, don't eat at all, preferring to sip nectar from their proboscis, like drinking squash from a straw. However, they do have taste buds in a rather strange place. On their feet! So when they land on a leaf, they can perform a taste test to check it's the kind of plant their offspring will want to eat. This is a red admiral. Look at the gorgeous pattern on its wings. Have you noticed? Butterfly wings have a pleasing symmetry. This means that each side is a mirror image of the other. So exactly the same on both sides. With symmetry in mind, today I'm going to show you an ancient Japanese art form called hapazo, or leaf printing. You will need some cotton cloth, or you could use paper, a bashing tool, uh, I'm using a rolling pin but you could use a hammer or a smooth stone or a mallet, uh, a pair of scissors, some leaves and flowers that you've collected from your garden or on a walk and a hard surface to bash onto. I've folded the cloth in the centre and drawn half a butterfly. Open the cloth and place your leaf carefully and flat on the surface. Then fold it back. Take your rolling pin and get drumming. Bash that cloth. Gently tap the area where the leaf is. You'll start to see an imprint coming through the material. Beautiful symmetry. Repeat the process with as many flowers and leaves as you want. Zone. Give it a bash. 